Who would shoot a St. Bernard with a shotgun? That's what a local family wants to know tonight. Good evening, I'm Ken Rice. The family doesn't have much to go on, but they're telling their story to KDKA. Jennifer Barrasso spoke with them about what happened. Jennifer. Well, Ken, tonight the family is offering a reward. They are hurt. They are wondering who shot their dog, Wilson, and why police are also seeking answers. It's beyond belief that, that somebody would be so cavalier as to just to harm an animal like that. We, we don't understand it, and we probably never will. Jason McBride has no idea why anyone would shoot his defenseless, beloved four-year-old St. Bernard Wilson in the head and neck. We have a, a large farm uh, with, you know, he has access to, you know, a, a large amount of land that he could roam. Okay. So we don't know if somebody was on our property. But we do have a, you know, a dirt road. McBride lives on a large farm in northern Butler County on Porter Road in Marion Township. He says Harrisville Borough Police believe someone driving by may have shot Wilson around 1.30 in the afternoon on September 30th. He and his wife were not home. Their daughter found Wilson whimpering under the deck, covered in blood. They rushed him to the vet where they confirmed he had been shot with a shotgun. The BBs have uh, lodged in his skin and they will peel out of his skin, except for the ones who went through his skin, they're in his muscle. McBride says police are checking surveillance video from trail cameras and are reaching out to neighbors. Wilson is healing and starting to eat again. The family has had extensive vet bills. It's more the heartbreak. It's not about the money. It's about it being our, our family's pet, you know, specifically my daughter's, you know, her, it's, her, it's her pride and joy. It's our, it's our big boys, we like to say. And take another look. Here is Wilson McBride saying that Wilson is a gentle giant. He is very laid back. The family, meantime, can hopes that a $1,000 reward will get someone to come forward with information. Reporting live, Jennifer Barrasso, KDKA News. All right, Jen, thanks.